hello everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to sell planners on etsy in 2024 so today we're walking through the steps of creating and sell planners on etsy planners of course in 2024 so planners are a hot item on etsy and with the right approach you can create successful digital products business so make sure to stick by let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you will need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using uh, brave for you you can use whatever you want you can go then to the url section basically just go to etsy dot com hit the enter button and you should be taken to the home screen main screen if it's your first time basically you should be taken here basically the same page but you'll find the sign in option here make sure to sign into your account if you have an account or click on register to create a new account you can use google facebook or apple if you don't want to get through all the point steps of creating or even logging in into your account of course here once you're logged in or you just created your account if it's your first time you can go and create a store first of all if you don't have one i've already made a video about this if you don't know how but for me, I'll just go to the stop price corner shop manager, as you can see, so I can access my shop right here. So don't mind this account is suspended. I got suspended because of a stupid reason. So don't mind this at the moment. But for you, as an example, first, you will need to do some research and check out, for example, the current like market trends on Etsy. So you can just go and browse on Etsy, like maybe not a seller, but just a client. And you can search for planners, for example. So just go and look for planners as example and you can see like what people are saying here or selling and see what like types are popular what type are paying off as example so this one uh, like just got 90 uh, people who uh, review of course that does not mean like 90 per persons or 90 people like buy it but as you can see just 90 reviews so not many people uh, like buy it so but as you can see from this guy like 12.1k even if it's lower like just two dollars and this one kind of six even if it's uh, twenty dollar but uh two dollar i mean but so if a lot of people uh, review it that means a lot of people buy it and that means uh it's even got more than that so if you can just do your own research as example and see what type of planners are popular daily maybe weekly monthly budget planners as example so etc just take note of the design styles uh, of the features of the price points and this research will help you understand what customers are looking for and how you can different, uh, differentiate your product as an example so you can see you can do whole research not just maybe on etsy and other like stores but since you're trying to sell planners on etsy just look for the planners that are working on etsy as example so you can see as example it seems like yeah this one has the best like uh, uh like reviews not just just five star but 12k people uh more than 12k people like reviewed that means a lot of people bought this item and if this is the case of course as you can see that means a lot of people buy this uh products as example if a lot of people buy it that means it's good for some reason so you can see like why uh, does it uh, look good uh, like example or just because of the price because if you go back it seems like it's the least cost products here from all the planners maybe even this discount helps like 70 percent discount or something like that i don't know so for you you can do your own research and next you can start designing your planner you can use tools like uh, maybe adobe illustrator uh, maybe also canva because canva is totally free of course you can just go to canvasexample.com as an example login into an account if you have an account if you don't have an account go and create a new account as an example you can use also again google or two options there if you don't want to get through all the more steps of logging or even continue uh, creating your account or you can use other than canva i guess there's an option that i've here recently called uh, affinity designer uh, to create your planner pages it's uh, useful also so an example here you can start by creating a design you can look for planners templates as an example so yeah you can look for planner depending on the planner dimensions that you want you can choose one let like me for example i want this 
size so as an example here you have a lot of templates that you can use some of them are pro you need a better plan on cover but some of them are, are free maybe this one you can apply this as an example and start using it you can add anything that you want on it all the changes that you want on your planner you can make them so basically for you I'm not going to design, but for you, just design your planner. You can use, as example, these tools, and you can focus on creating some functional and aesthetically, uh, of course, aesthetically, like pleasing layout, include like some sections, uh, like maybe uh, you can include some daily schedules if there is no daily schedules here. You can maybe lower this notes, as example, include your daily schedules and etc. So you'll be able to do a lot uh, in here. So just go and do it. Of course, you can also uh, add, uh, I don't know, maybe to-do lists if you want to add it. If it's not here yet, uh, you can add goals trackers, habit, habit trackers, and even, of course, like this notes with like, things you can change as an example a better to a better thing and once your design is completed, of course, you can save each page as high resolution PDF as example you can simply click here on share and you'll be able to simply download it you can download it as a pdf and make sure to get the best quality of that and make sure to create a cover page that is eye-catching and represents the theme of your planner and before even start selling it it's crucial to test your planner print it out on a few pages uh, or use like a digital planner planner app like good notes as example or notability to ensure everything looks good and functional or functional as well of course an example you can go just go here good notes.com you can use the web option as example so click here on web as an example and simply just click on you and open it from your pc and simply start using it and check if everything is working if it's working as intended it's time to stop on your etsy shop so if you can you can go here to your listings and simply add it to your listing so for me i'll not be able to add this because my account suspended but simply for you just click on add it and add that listing right there create your listing and once you create it and publish it marketing is very good right now so you can start marketing your planner you can start by optimizing first of all your listing with some relevant tags and keywords share your products on social media platforms like instagram pinterest facebook and create some engaging posts and stories showcase your planners your use hashtags to reach a broader audience consider even running some etsy ads to increase visibility collaborate with influencers and bloggers in the planning and productivity niche to promote your planners also you can give them one as example uh, other than pain if you go into maybe some not very popular influencers and etc and you can provide some external customer uh, service because that helps also a lot and yeah that should be it for you so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye